the goal of this video is to show you how to use the slider in order to control the speed of a person. This person I got from the Coppelia model browser. Let's start off by dumping on the person from the model browser. So if you go to people and go to standing bill, you can uh, put it there here. So this is the person from the library. There are other things you can choose from. Uh, you can browse the model browser to see what other options are available. Okay, first thing I will do is get the person to move in the X direction. Uh, the name of the person is Bill, so I'll refer to the person as Bill. Uh, now, if you double click this code, you will see that uh, there's already some code defined, and this code is actually defined in a script called Lua. Uh, we want to write our own script, so we will not delete this because this script does something useful uh, when you run it. So we will create a new script in the in the floor icon, which is the bottom here. So first thing is I will actually move the move bill uh, using some code and without using a slider. So let me create an object for bill. Bill is sim dot get object bill. Okay. Uh, now that we have got bill, uh, let us now try to set its its his speed. So for that, uh, first we'll define a global bill. Now we'll put the code here. Uh, first thing we get is we get the position of bill. So for that, I use sim dot get object position. So the syntax for it is I first need to pass the object handles so that will be bill and relative to handle so that will be the words which is denoted by minus one okay and the output is the position okay now the position is going to be um, the x y z coordinate the way i want bill to move is i wanted him to move in the x direction only so what i'll do is i will get the x position of of bill and then change it by a certain speed. So let me first define a variable called speed. Uh, let me assign it to be say 0 0.01. Uh, let me get the simulation time. Sim dot get simulation time. Now I will change the uh, x speed, so x is zero, that will be plus equals the speed times time. And then I need to set that back. So that will be sim dot set object position. The object handle is bill. It's relative to the world from minus one. And then I need to pass the three coordinates. So this code, if it if it all is programmed right, make bill, make bill move in the x direction. So you can see it moves uh, pretty fast. We can reduce the speed by putting zero and perhaps uh, zero one. Okay, so now you can see it's moving slow. Okay, now what we've been able to do is set the speed using code, but what we would like to do is put a slider here and that slider gives us a knob which we can use to control the speed. So if the speed is positive, will goes forward in the X direction. If the speed is negative, Bill goes in the backward direction. So that's the next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, define a speed range. Let's say minus 0 0.1, 2.1. Now I need to define the uh, an XML code which basically sets that target, and that is uh, something which I'll just copy paste from my notes because it's pretty complex and you can do the same. So create uh, custom UI. So this is basically in handle to the XML tag, which would uh, basically have a have create the slider box for us to manipulate. Next, I create the UI. That will be sim UI dot create XML. 
Okay. Now what I do is I'll use speed as my variable, which I've already set here. And that speed variable, I need to initialize. That initialization will be in the range, which is in between the two. So 0 0.5 times speed range zero plus speed range one uh, is my speed. Now the, okay, we can actually run this and you can see that it is uh, giving an error because this is incorrect. There should be a comma here. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, so now you saw that uh, it actually produces the uh, the custom UI. Uh, this knob doesn't do much because it's not been programmed. Okay, so now the thing about this particular knob, this slider is that it goes from zero all the way to 100. So zero and all the way to 100. But the speed is going to be between minus 0 0.1 to plus 0 0.1. So what I need to do is I need to take the speed and then scale it to a, on a scale of 100. So for that, what I do is uh, I define a new variable called speed scale 100. And that's defined as 100 times speed minus speed range 0 divided by speed range 0 plus speed range 1. So what this does is basically it scales the speed from uh, this range to a scale of 100. Now, once I do that, then I set that slider, this slide, it looks like there's a division by zero. Yes, this would give a problem. Uh, should actually be, this is incorrect. This should be uh, minus speed range plus zero. It should work fine now. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to set the slider to be uh, whatever the speed is. Now this, since the speed is half of the speed, half the range, the speed scale 100 would be 50. And I want this to come right in the middle. So let's do that. So for that, I need to, uh, enter sim UI, sim UI dot set slider value UI one speed scale underscore scale hundred. Now, in order for uh, this speed to be uh, set here. Uh, what I need to do is I need to define speed as a global variable. So it's set here, and then it's same thing as accessed over here. So if I now set it like this, then it's at rest because the speed scale is actually zero. So we can change that uh, by, let's say instead of this, let's put speed range zero. Okay, this is going to give the minimum speed and I will see the person go backwards. That was pretty fast. So in order to decrease that speed, what I'll do is I'll multiply this with 0 0.001 and now it'll go a little bit slower. Okay. You can also see that this has been now been updated to be in the middle. Okay. However, it's not been programmed to uh, make the make bill move forward or backwards. Okay, so now is the final step. I need to program the slider to move back and forward. So for that, I need to create what is known as a callback. Okay, so this is going to be a new function. It's called def speed change callback. Okay. Uh, why is it called speed change callback? Because if you see here, this is what I defined it to be. Okay, so it should be the same name. Uh, so then I put here, um, the inputs to this are UI, UID, my speed, which is scaled on a scale of 100, 
were my inputs. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll use that scaled value. This comes from that slider bar. Remember, it's always in a scale of 100. I need to convert that from a scale of 100 to a scale between minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1. So I need to do a scaling of the speed, which I can do as follows. The so speed would be speed range 0 plus speed range 1 minus speed range 0 divided by 100. So this will scale it this by 100, but then you also need to multiply with speed scale 100. Okay, now we'll try running this. And then you see Bill is going backwards, move it forward, but nothing really happens. And that's because uh, this variable here, speed, is still a local variable, so I need to make it global. Okay, so now run this. Okay, so you can see that bill is going backwards. If I push it forward and forward, and I can get it to go backwards, slow down, and then go backwards. Okay, uh, I can also put this right in the middle, so it's uh, uh, so it's a little better. So now the speed initialized to the middle. Let's run this. Now go forward. Then stop. And go backwards. Okay, so this is how you can uh, program the sliders to do something useful.